All right, boys, today we're going to be cutting out your PCB, or I'm going to do an example of how to cut out a PCB. First things first, housekeeping is really important, okay? Um, in regards to chemicals you, you'll be using, make sure you've got goggles on, because you can splash your eyes. Make sure that you've got an overall, um, an apron, or we have some plastic aprons over there that you're wearing, because that will protect your clothing. Without further ado, um, I'm going to do the first step because it's going to take a while to heat up. The first step is to turn the etching machine on. The etching machine has a protective panel. We need to turn it on here. Now it will show you the temperature on the left hand side at 16 degrees. That needs to go up to 44, which is going to take about half an hour, okay? So make sure if you're doing some etching, you turn this on, especially this time of year, a good half hour before you actually want to do the etching. So that might be you coming at break, for example. Right, we can leave that now, and that can heat up and we can do the rest of the bits and pieces. Right, so, let me just talk a little bit about the process, um, and then we will go on to get everything photocopied onto the correct material. Anything funny, Oscar? No. No, good, right. We have a collection of offcuts and PCBs in this drawer, all right? The idea when you need a piece of PCB is you first of all go to this drawer, you find a piece which has got a blue or a black film over the top. Sometimes people put PCB, PCB back in here which has had the film removed. That's no good at all, all right? But you want to find a piece which is an appropriate size. Right, so that's the PCB drawer. Um, let us mix up the chemicals. Actually, let's do the first thing first. Right, Oscar, um, I've sent you my file. Yeah. Okay, and that's on your computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we go to your computer and can we print it, please? Okay. When I say print it, there's a specific thing you have to do. So, yeah. Frank, if you would come around here and, um, and just look. Come around here, Frank. So, when we print, we don't want to be printing this onto a piece of paper. We're going to be printing this onto a piece of plastic to create a mask, okay? A PCB mask. It's not actually the PCB, but it stops light being projected onto the PCB, which I will go through later. How do we get that mask? Because it's plastic, it has to be printed in a particular way in the photocopier. So we go to print, current design. We go to properties here, actually, first things first, make sure follow me colour or follow me mono is selected. Doesn't matter which really because we're doing a black and white image. I've forgotten just to say something. Okay, so I'm going to go back and just say you may have it on this view here which is the real world normal view. When you print it needs to be on artwork. All right, so we were already on artwork. So again, print, select mono, go to properties. In those properties, you'll see there's a lot of different choices that you can make. We want to go to paper source. That is the source of the paper before it goes through the printer and comes out as an image. We want to select multi-purpose tray. Now, what that means is opposed to the bottom collector's paper holders, it's gonna be the side paper holder or media holder I suppose you'd say because it doesn't need to be paper that we put through that machine. Okay I'm going to print that. Now remember I've already sent one of these three. I'm going to send another one three and I'm sure that the multi-purpose tray will already be selected so I'm just going to go to this. Okay and I, you don't need to do this. Send it three three times but I'm going to do it just in case the first one goes wrong and therefore I don't need to come back in the room. So if I don't need these, I'm going to delete these later. Does that all make sense? Okay, great. So now we've sent that through. Right. Um, I think we just pause there. 